Hi everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is an unboxing and a review of the Maiman WMIC-01 wireless microphone. This is a low-end professional dual transmitter wireless microphone system, but I don't want to get any more ahead of myself because I've got an unboxing coming up. I'll show you everything that comes in the box, and it's some pretty nice stuff. And then we'll move on from that into a full review of the product. So here we go with the unboxing. Let's take a look. This is what the package looks like. The company's name is either Mammon or Maimon. I'm going to go with somewhat inconsistent English pronunciation rules and say the name is Maimon. So if I'm getting it wrong, sorry about that. The part number is WMIC-01. This is a dual channel wireless microphone system, uses UHF frequencies. And notice that there are two transmitters. So it's you can have this set up for two people simultaneously. The receiver has two antennas and the receiver is a true diversity receiver. So diversity receiver means that it receives the signal on both of the antennas, compares them, and then goes with whichever signal is strongest. So in theory, that will allow for fewer dropouts. That's an excellent technology going with uh, diversity reception. Let's now open this up. Well, let me go over maybe some other things that are in here. There's lots of specs on the back. You can probably read that if you have really good playback and features true diversity, automatic channel setting for a quick start. So in other words, it'll pick an unused UHF channel and hopefully make sure that that works well. And it has clear channel scan, active channel scan. It has an output level control at the receiver. The receiver is a small box, as you can see, with the dual antennas. And this can mount on top of a camera, on a, a cold shoe mount on top of a camera, which is super handy. And it has a line input is available. Uh, my cameras are all microphone input, so I don't care about that. It will run on rechargeable batteries. And that's a pretty good uh, feature if you have rechargeables. And then there's lots of specs here. It shows what comes in the box, but we will be opening the box to see what comes in it. Here we go. Nice looking carrying case. Yeah, I like that. I thought it was just going to be a bunch of parts in a bag, but this is really nice. Okay. Here we go. Well, this is the first thing that happened to be in there. And this is an XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Okay. A microphone cable. This is probably from the receiver into your camera. A nice thick manual. So the manual looks pretty good. This is the mount for the top of the camera. This is the cold shoe mount that goes on top of the camera. Maybe I'll snap that onto the receiver and see how that goes. This is the receiver. And I may have to read the instructions about how this mounts. So, yeah, definitely going to have to check that one out. This is the battery pack, I guess, for the receiver. It takes two AA batteries. The receiver is very lightweight. Now, of course, the batteries aren't in it, and that'll weigh it down a bit more. But it is not heavy. So I guess this is a plastic case or a very light metal case. And that uh, pulls out and snaps in easily. I'm going to set those aside. One of the transmitters. It charges using a um, micro USB port. Oh, it's got a micro USB port here. This one, the receiver, has a micro USB port as well. Okay, here's the second transmitter, identical to the first. Again, the battery pack uses two double A's. It has the connector on top. Then there's a lot of cables. There's another right angle cable uh, 3.5 millimeter cable. This is one of the clip-on lavalier style microphones. Again, this attaches to the top of the transmitter. 
We have a second clip on. These pop filters are always a uh, concern about them falling off, but these seem to be stuck on pretty well. This is a charging cable, a micro USB to standard USB charging cable. Oh, we have little wind muffs. We'll call them tiny dead cats for the lav microphones, the clip-on microphones. So if you're out in a windy environment, you have these tiny little wind muffs, which actually do make a difference. I have uh, identical wind muffs for a different lavalier microphone, and they surprisingly kill a lot of the wind noise when you're working outside. So there's two of those. There's an inspection certificate. And this is in that section we have three belt clips. These are little wire belt clips. Now maybe the uh, mount for the top of the camera works with these belt clips. So I'm going to see if I can figure out where the belt clip goes. I'm guessing it goes like this and like this. And now the belt clip is on the receiver. Now I can take the plate here and I can slip that on. Like that maybe. It seemed to snap in to that location. So maybe that's how it goes or maybe I can get it in the other way for perhaps a more solid connection. Well, I'm not going to try to force anything. That's the unboxing of the Maiman WMIC-01 wireless microphone system. It comes with two transmitters and a diversity receiver that allows you to record two people simultaneously with super handy little trick. Lots of cables, microphones, adapters, really eager to try this out and see how well it works. Look, it looks like there's a pretty good manual to go with it as well. So now let's move on to the review stage and we'll talk about how all of this stuff works together. First, I want to show that I can in fact mount the camera mounting clip onto the receiver. Now this is a transmitter, but the receivers and the transmitters are exactly the same size and the camera mount uh, attachment goes exactly the same way. So you need to slide it in like this, slide it down, and then it snaps in very firmly like that. It makes a very tight connection. And now this is a cold shoe mount that goes on top of the camera, which is a super convenient place to put it. I also want to point out that I'm actually using the Maiman WMIC-01 right now for this and I'm generally impressed with the sound quality, but we'll be talking a lot more about that through the rest of the video. A couple of things that I want to mention about this Maiman microphone. First, it is dead easy to use. I took the components, a receiver and a transmitter, put some batteries in them, turned them on, and they worked perfectly, exactly the way I expected them to work. So that was fantastic. I, I was afraid that I would have to go into the manual and do a lot of different settings because these microphones have a lot of different possible settings but I just put batteries in them and boom, it worked perfectly. The second thing is that the receiver, which attaches to the camera and feeds the signal into the camera, the receiver's output port is labeled line. And I was concerned because the manual also mentioned line output that the microphone receiver's output was in fact line level. My camera has a microphone level input and I was afraid that the line level output of the receiver wouldn't match with my camera's microphone level input. Well, the output of the receiver is in fact microphone level. It works perfectly with my Panasonic GH5 camera, which only has a micro, microphone level input. Uh, no problems, I plugged it in, didn't have to make any adjustments. It works perfectly. In fact, you're hearing the sound right now, what it sounds like without me making any adjustments. This is just taking the transmitter and receiver the way they were, turning them on with some batteries, plugging them into my camera. This is exactly what it sounds like. So there's a lot of cameras out there and almost all of them accept only microphone level signals. There's a handful that accept microphone or line level signals. So uh, you should be assured that this microphone will work with every camera because it has a microphone level output. I'm gonna walk to the end of my driveway, which is roughly 100 feet away or so. And uh, right now the backpack transmitter is on my back pocket, so it's 
absolutely direct line of sight. It's not passing through my body or anything like that. And I'm just going to go to the center of the road, which should be roughly 100 feet away. This wireless microphone system, the specs say that it can do about 100 meters or about 330 feet or so. Right now, 100 feet away. Direct line of sight. There's nothing obstructing me from the camera. Each of the two antennas is getting the signal and provides the best signal between the two antennas. And now I'm walking back up to the camera, probably about 50 feet away here, and getting closer and closer and closer, probably about 30 feet away here. And this is uh, maybe 12 feet away from the camera. So uh, that was the stress test, the distance stress test of this Maiman wireless microphone. This is a test of using both of the Maiman wireless mic transmitters in an interview situation. We've got both transmitters going here. I'm wearing one and Mary Ellen, the camera operator, is wearing the other transmitter. So she's going to ask me a couple of questions. But I want to make clear that this is the microphones without me doing any adjustment whatsoever. All I did was put batteries in them and turn them on and attach them to us. And that's it. I've not adjusted the volume, the channels, anything. I just put batteries in, turn them on, and this is how they sound, and this is how they will feed into the camera to record the audio. So go ahead and start with your questions. How long are the microphone cables? Well, the lav mics, the clip-on mics, the cables are about 45 inches long or about 1.15 meters, and that's maybe uh, slightly less if you go absolutely tip to tip. So that's the, just the cable part of it. How long do the batteries last in the microphones and the receiver? Well, it's hard to say exactly. It depends on the quality of the batteries that you're using, but I expect anywhere from six to 10 hours, maybe even more than 10 hours if you're using really good batteries. So it still makes sense to turn the receivers and transmitters off when you're not using them. Don't just let them burn through the batteries, but you've got a good at least six hours on a decent battery. Will the transmitters work with microphones other than the ones supplied by Maiman? That's a very interesting question, and the answer is yes, it will. I have another clip-on microphone that I've tried, and it worked perfectly. That's the only other clip-on mic that I've tried, and it worked perfectly, sounded great. I also have a shotgun microphone, an Asden shotgun microphone. I plugged it in, and it worked too. In fact, we'll be trying that one out real soon. This is a test of using the Maiman transmitter with a microphone other than a Maiman microphone. This is my Asden SGM250 shotgun microphone, and it's a professional microphone, costs a couple few hundred dollars, and I have it plugged in with a cable using a balancing transformer. Actually, it goes balanced to unbalanced and then plugs into the Maiman transmitter. Now, I'm about 30 feet or so away from the camera, the receiver's on the camera. So this could be a situation where if you're a reporter in a crowd or if you need to be set back from the camera and still have uh, you know, the ability to use a microphone like this. Now the wind is kicking up. We might get a little bit of wind noise. Shotguns are pretty susceptible to wind noise. But this is an example of using the Maiman transmitter with a microphone other than the mic that came with the Maiman transmitter. And I think so far it's working pretty well. This Maiman wireless mic has a bunch of other useful features. This is the on off button right here. Below it is the set button. And then you've got up down buttons here. So I've turned it on and it comes up and it's ready to work. But if you want to set it for some of its other features, press the set button and now you can adjust whether this is the A transmitter or the B transmitter. Uh, each transmitter is adjustable. You can determine what channel it's on. There are 50 UHF channels that you can set this to. This is on channel zero. You can set it whether the input to this transmitter is a microphone level input or a line level input, that could be super handy. So if you're at a concert, you could put one of these back by the house mixer and get a line output from the house mixer and record that. So uh, let's go back to the set. So you can adjust between mic and line by using the up down buttons. I'm just gonna leave it in the mic mode. And there's also a low cut filter. If you're out working outside and it's windy, you might want to use the low cut filter. So there's a lot of different features available on this. And also on the display, there's a battery icon that tells you 
the charge level in the battery. I've only had the Maiman WMIC-01 for a few days, and I've pretty much only used it for making this review video, doing some testing related to the video, but I've been very impressed with the microphone. They're small, lightweight, well-built. The ergonomics are excellent. The chances that you'll accidentally push a button and go off into settings hell somewhere with the device are pretty low because the buttons are all well protected on the front face of the device. Uh, the readout is clear, easy to use. There's lots of settings, lots of flexibility, yet you can just put batteries in, turn it on, and boom, use it the way it is. So I really like that it's a UHF microphone. The propagation characteristics of UHF are, is better than the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band that you see some microphones using today and also Bluetooth. So uh, UHF should penetrate walls a little better and, and have a little bit better receive characteristics. Now I didn't get super fantastic distance in my distance test, but I got plenty of distance for any video application that I'm likely to use. And there's just lots of flexibility built into this. You can use microphones with the transmitters. You can use line level signals with the transmitters. You can use different microphones with the transmitters. I tried a different clip-on mic and you saw me do uh, use the uh, shotgun microphone. So it has lots of, lots of flexibility built in. On top of all that, the price is great. A street price of $220 for all of this stuff. Two microphones, one receiver, diversity reception, UHF, digital signal processing, all very nice quality stuff for a very modest price. And it, they're well uh, built, they're, they're just, they feel nice in the hand, they don't feel cheap. They take simple AA batteries that everybody can get everywhere inexpensively. So it has a lot of good stuff going on for it. And the sound quality, uh, the you know, number one reason you'd want to get a microphone in the first place, the sound quality is excellent. So I recommend the Maiman WMIC-01 microphone. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.